Caller Lisa Nandy. Mr Speaker, following last week's debate on disabled access to public transport in Westminster Hall, I'd like to seek your advice about the treatment of visitors in wheelchairs to this place. This weekend I received a number of complaints from people who missed the start of the debate because, despite stating their destination very clearly on arrival, they were directed to a lobby held by employees of Remploy in another committee room. They and others were then unable to fit into Westminster Hall because the majority of chairs were not removed because it may cause disruption to a later debate leaving them outside in a corridor. Despite prior notice being given by my office that some visitors in wheelchairs were expected, it does not seem right that people with disabilities should be required to give notice to come to this place when others are not. I have the greatest, greatest respect for the staff in this House, and I do not attribute any individual responsibility, but it seems to me that collectively, on this occasion, we have fallen far, far short of the standards that the 12 million people with disabilities in this country should expect from their elected representatives, and I would therefore ask that you urgently investigate this matter to make sure that it never ever happens again. Yeah, yeah. I'm grateful to the Honourable Lady for advance notice of her intended point of order, grateful to her for what she said and grateful to her for the manner in which she has said it. For the record I attach the greatest possible importance to all of our proceedings being accessible to everyone and accessible to everyone without discrimination. The Honourable Lady has related to me a sequence of events with which until a short time ago I was entirely unfamiliar. The best I can say to her and to the House is that I will inquire into the, the matters that she raised, reporting back as necessary to her and to the House.